you're not allowed to park in the woods here, unfortunately. So welcome to Long Hill Township, guys. And we're at the Great Swamp Park. Turtle, oh no, it just swam away. Let me see if I can get a picture. Unfortunately, the only trail that's in Long Hill Township, which is where I have to film today, is really swampy. And since it just rained two days in a row, we're really not able to go out onto the actual trail and film, which really sucks. But hopefully we can get some good stuff on the access road coming out because it's really long and there's a lot of places to stop and actually see things. There was a little turtle head right there. And it looks like when I talk, it gets a little scared. So I'm gonna try and be as quiet as possible to keep taking these pictures, but still narrate a little bit and show you guys. Those little, I don't even know what they are, frogs maybe? Making these really weird noises. It's so cool that you see that big snapping turtle just like peek its head out over the water every so often. And then there's all the like little turtles peeking their heads out. It's really cute. I mean like wholesome swamp things. See that little, uh, yeah, yeah, see that dot right there? That is the snapping turtle, peeking its head out and getting some air before it dives back down to hunt. And there's also a heron. All the way back there, you see, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see it flying? Right there. It's beautiful. There's a lot of really cool wildlife out here. It's really cool how this whole place has layers because right down here right next to the bridge there's like dragonflies and stuff and little bugs and cool plants then you go a little bit further then there's the skunk cabbage and then there's the turtles and then there's a bigger turtle then all the way at the end there's big reeds and birds and then there's a heron always flying in the background it's so pretty i like it I keep missing photos of these birds because they fly away so fast. And one thing that like you want to do if you're trying this is have a constant drive mode so whenever your shutter's down or taking a picture. The problem with me though right now is that I was having a hard time focusing with my camera, which sucks, but there's birds flying in and out, so I'll hopefully get one picture. And I kid you not, as I said that, I did. But like, the, the, those birds, the swamp birds, I don't even remember what they're called, but they're so cool because when they start flying, they have these like big red things like right under their wings. So there's like a flash of red as it flies. It's really cool. And that right there was the Eastern Goldfinch, which is actually our state bird, which is really cool. I honestly think that doing this on the access road is much better than doing it on the trail because when I walk along here, there's a big open pavement where I can see things fly across instead of having like a small little footpath that I would be going across. And I can see like birds on the side of the road, like that one right there, and it's really cool. I seriously love it. Cause I just sit here and I look a bit and then I see the little heads of the turtles dip below the water and like reappear somewhere somewhere else it's amazing it's really nice because like every part of the swamp has layers like even then you just see another layer it's up in the, ooh, birds right there i'm gonna see if i can get a picture this bird on the line up here seems to have complete chill he doesn't care if i'm here or not he doesn't care if i'm filming he's just vibey he's making a cameo I mean, this entire video so far has just been me walking back and forth like the same 20 feet of access path. It's a daytime raccoon, I'm gonna go pet it. Yeah, um, recommendation, please don't pet raccoons, especially thin ones that are out in the daytime.
Is that a turtle? <gasps> I think it is. Yo, you know what? That's cool. I'm gonna get a picture. This is a snapping turtle. You don't want to get too close to them. They're cranky. Look how long his tail is. You're just vibing in the sun. Bro, he looks like a whole dinosaur. So cool. Turtle vibing. Watch me get ambushed by another one. They're trying to trick me here. Turtle. I'm gonna not get too close because these things are scary. They're mini dinosaurs that are like slower. That's so cool. It's just looking at me. I wonder what he's thinking I'm doing. Who said I couldn't shoot portraits? Silent running mode activated. I think I see another turtle. You see it all the way up there? We're gonna go up and get a cool picture. Cause that doesn't look like a snapper. That looks like a normal turtle. Oh yo, it's a turtle. Hello mini tort. He's so cute. I'm gonna pet the turtle. Just really, you know, I probably shouldn't. So here's the story. There's the turtle there, right? And then I ran all the way like a hundred yards to go see this other turtle that my dad saw. And then I ran all the way over there because it was crossing the road. And then I got a cool picture, got some more portraits with the turtles. And then I had to run all the way back because that turtle crossed the road. So when I was there, I see that frog right there and I get a picture of that frog. So all in all, super cool. And I'm just running back and forth to get pictures of animals and it's totally worth it. I mean, it's great because yesterday it rained and the day before it rained and there's a picture of a bird I'm gonna go try to get. Today's episode goes like this. I start to explain something. I start to explain why I see all these animals and then I see more animals. So I go to take pictures before they leave. So basically where I was before, there was rain last night and the night before. So it's really, really wet. And then all the water makes all the animals move because then there's water in different places and it kind of floods up a little bit. The water level rises. And it's nice because we're also on this road. So you're gonna see all the animals crossing the road. It's like one of the places where there's dry land. So it's really cool. In a way, we're kind of like lucky that the trail was kind of wet and muddy because then we didn't go on it and now we're here. We see all the other cool wildlife. Okay, somebody smart, what are these? Cause there's a little hole here, like along the side of the road, it's all green. And then there's just this hole, and it's a little like, I don't know. So we think that it's some kind of reptile egg and we're hoping that it's turtles because um, yeah, you really don't want snake eggs right about now. But it's wet, yeah, it looks like turtles cause that one right there is a circle, which probably means that these turtles just hatched. There's a bunch of baby turtles. Isn't that so cute? See, it's like, this is the perfect thing. All the planets are aligning right now. Storm, trails flooded out, springtime. So like all of these baby birds and like all of these baby animals, it's so awesome to see. Yeah, so there's turtles all along here. And then there's like a little marshy area. So we're thinking that those are turtles because then the turtles want to be near the water, obviously. Oh, what was that? You saw that, right? Thinking it was a frog. Hoping it was a frog. The eggs look really fresh. We're like double lucky. So maybe they like hatched the last couple days. That's so cool. Well, look at that turtle. It's so small. This is the size of my hand. That's the size of the turtle. I could probably close my fist with the turtle in it, right? Close to it, yeah. 
This must be a baby something. That's wild. So cool I get to see another one. So I set up my camera right there. Because hopefully if I walk away a little bit, I can get like the turtle moving. And hopefully it doesn't get run over because that would suck. It works. I got the turtle walking away. And like literally it went into the water just as I got back. So there was another like little pond. I didn't want to record there because that's private property on the side. But like privacy laws say that I can take any picture from the public road. So we're good there. But I didn't get any actual pictures because there was a baby there and it like it yapped and then like ran into the pond there. And then there were a bunch of other turtles that also ran into the pond. So like I didn't get any pictures, but it was really cool to see. So now it's just like a leisurely walk back to the car and just see if you see anything. It's nice and peaceful. We got out early and there's some geese on the road over there, which I probably can't show you in time. So today we've been filming the entire thing at the Great Swamp National Wildlife Refuge, which is actually the first wildlife refuge ever to be like put into place by the uh, Fish and Wildlife Service. So that's pretty cool. And there was definitely a lot of wildlife, so no regrets there. Yeah, so this has got to be like the seventh or eighth hatch that we've seen. So they must have come out like yesterday or the day before. It couldn't have been much longer. <music> Okay, literally on the drive home, a freaking crayfish <laughs> just walking down the road. It's beautiful. One thing that I really want to note is when I've been talking about Long Hill and saying that name specifically, it's because this is a part of a series where I go to every single town in Morris County and take a video and show the things that are there. So this is in the town of Long Hill. I'm trying to show you all of the really cool things that are in the Great Swamp, which is a really important part of Long Hill. There's other things in the town as well, but if I could only showcase one, it would have to be this. So I'm really happy that you guys got to see a lot of it. But part of that project is that I take three photos and also have a little photo gallery of each town as well. So I think that it was really cool that I could get these three photos and it's really cool that I could show you a lot of it, especially for not thinking that it would work at all like a half an hour ago. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like the content and subscribing lets me know that you want to see more of this and it helps you be notified when some of these videos come out. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed. So see ya.